So I figured I would go ahead and make um, the second vlog in this and uh, I don't really have a point for what I want to do with my vlog or anything. I just want it to be real and authentic um, and I just want it to be as accurate as possible. Like I don't want to put on any pretenses. I don't want uh, any of that. I, I want it to be something that like down the road I can look back on and be proud of even if it's hard. Um, so one thing about me is that I really hate organizing. Uh, not even stuff like, like I feel like it's specific to my home. Uh, I don't really mind organizing things at work. In fact, I'd say I'm very good at it. Uh, I'm very good at being organized at work. Uh, but I absolutely hate uh, organizing stuff at my house. Um, and it's taken me a long time to figure out why. Uh, and uh, <laughs> you can probably tell I've been crying. But this weekend I did it with my daughter. And so I decided I would just buckle down and do it. Um, and I totally know why I hate doing it. And it's because there's a lot of stuff that I've held on to with emotions that I'm not ready to work through. Um, so, and I think it's healthy and that's why I'm making this video, I guess. I think it's healthy that I can finally recognize that this is why I don't like to organize things in my house. Um, it's very painful. And a lot of that pain has to do with feeling like I have somehow failed my daughter. So my daughter's dad and I got divorced when she was nine months old or we got separated rather. And I just, you know, I didn't grow up in a family that was divorced with divorced parents by my ex-husband didn't either. Um, and really what it came down to, like, we had a pretty okay marriage, but what it came down to was me leaving the LDS church, the Mormon church, uh, you know, I mean, it's obviously more, com a little more complex than that, but like, that's ultimately what the main issue was, why we ended up getting divorced. Um, and I don't know if it's something either of us wanted, um, you know, I think I, like, I believe that I initiated the separation. My ex is the one who finally pulled the trigger on filing. Um, but I don't think it was something either of us wanted. Like, we got along pretty good. But ultimately, it was very important to my ex-husband that I be Mormon and that I practice uh, the standards and tenets of Mormonism. And I, like, people ask, like, doesn't that make you mad? And it doesn't. Because here's the thing, like, I knew who I was marrying before I got married. Um, I knew that that was important to him. And how could I be mad at him when I'm the one who changed the game? You know? But I also couldn't ignore my truth and I couldn't be untrue to myself either. And I couldn't stay in a religion, in a culture that stifled my very soul and very being. And I'm not saying that it does that to everyone. I'm not saying that at all, but that's what it did for me. And especially having a daughter, uh, you know, I, I thought I could be okay living that way. But when I had a daughter, I just like, I couldn't, like I had to be true to myself. And I felt like if I wasn't true to myself about how I felt about Mormonism, that like, I just couldn't ever like advise her on anything in life because I wasn't willing to follow my own advice. So how could I expect her to follow my advice, you know? Um, but anyway, um, so anyway, we ended up getting divorced. That's kind of the short version. Ended up getting divorced when she, we, I'd be separated when she was nine months, divorced when she was about um, 14 months. And, um, and uh, I'm the one who initially moved out. Nate stayed in our house until we sold it. Uh, again, that was kind of forced on me, just being also honest about that. I would have much preferred to stay in the house, but, um, without like unless I wanted to go into a ton of conflict with my ex-husband it just wasn't really an option for me and I I'm not really a conflict driven person and I prefer not to I was so I wanted and especially more so for the sake of our daughter I wanted to preserve any dignity of our marriage 
and our friendship. Uh, but anyway, because I was the one who moved out, uh, a lot of my stuff was packed, you know, kind of haphazardly, both by me and my ex-husband. My ex-husband actually helped me with packing a lot of stuff because, uh, like I mentioned, like our divorce wasn't um, planned or anything. Like our, we had not talked about separation or divorce. This was like very sudden for both of us. And so like a lot of stuff, like, you know, it's been what, um, let's see, it was October 2016 that we separated. And we are now coming into July 2020, so it's been almost four years, and I am still just kidding. Like, I've gone through most of these boxes and bags that I packed, but there's still some that I have never gone through. Uh, and so, anyway, I was going through one of those today. This is why I hate organizing. It's just like it's like having to deal with emotions that are difficult and you don't want to deal with because they're inconvenient but really I think dealing with them when they're inconvenient is healthier Ugh, but it's not fun but I know it's healthier and it will get me to where I want to go faster anyway I was going through one of the boxes and I found this I know that what it says is baby first baby's first Christmas I think we I got this at a baby shower right before Jane was born And when we separated, it wasn't Christmas yet. And it was such an emotionally exhausting time. And I honest to God do not remember a ton about my baby's first Christmas. And I have a lot of guilt about that. More so, I have guilt that she never got to experience a Christmas with her parents together. And it's just really hard to face it. I know it's healthy. But God, you know, it's like feeling that guilt of not being able to really remember and not being able to give my daughter what she deserved despite my best efforts. It's painful. It's extraordinarily painful. And I know it's healthy, and that's why I'm going to keep going, even though everything in me is pushing to run away, to continue to put off organizing, and... Anyway, maybe this was a bad idea to start my vlog on such an emotional weekend when I decided to start organizing into donating and throwing away more so doing that more proactively because I promise I don't always cry. I'm kind of funny sometimes. Um, I'm like, it's kind of still far, far and cute, but like, I think this stuff is important to talk about too. And I'm hopeful that if showcasing or highlighting my pain, like I'm hopeful one that when I look back on this in a year, in two years, that I'll see it was worthwhile, that I was willing to torture myself, even though my natural instinct is to freaking run the other way. I'm hopeful that this is worthwhile. That's my number one intention with doing this video and posting it. To be able to look back and see. Number two, it's that I think that uh, we don't talk enough about going through our emotions in a healthy way and that's through crying and through releasing those emotions, through crying and through feeling. Uh, I recently listened to a book called the uh, Tao Le Ching or Tao Che Ching by Lao Tzu. Um, I listened to the audio version and one of the um, things and one thing in there that I mean there's so many poignant things in that um, in that audio book but one thing that really resonated with me is that when we want something to go to disappear from our lives we first have to let it expand and fill space we have to let it become what it was meant to become and that includes things like grief and guilt and shame and I think that's an important lesson to learn, and it's a very painful one, but I believe that by me doing this, I'm hopeful that it will help me get to where I'm trying to go for myself, for my daughter. That it will help us get to where we can be healthier and faster. And I want 
if this can inspire even one other person to do the same and not run or not turn a blind eye or to avoid things that are difficult to feel, then it would be worth it too. Anyway, hopefully my vlogs will start getting a little better and a little funnier. I promise I'm not, uh, I probably shouldn't even promise that. I, I am an interesting person. I'm sometimes funny. I wish I was funnier. Um, but I think I'm thought provoking and I think I'm interesting. And I think I have a very unique way of seeing the world. And so I promise more of those too, where I don't just cry all the time. I promise this is rare, but maybe it shouldn't be. I don't know. I don't have the answers. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to organizing. Um, yeah, I guess anybody that listens, thanks if you made it this far. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate your support. And if anybody's thinking about doing this, I'm not gonna tell you it's very fun, but I'm gonna tell you to do it. I have to believe that there's a much better outcome than avoiding, which I've been doing for almost four years. On the other side, Okay.